Hey everyone, it's your boy Rek coming out with a brand new Fortnite FPS boost guide and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to boost FPS and fix textures not loading issue in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2. So nowadays a lot of people are having textures not loading issue and there are a lot more FPS drops, stutters and overall lag in Fortnite. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the general tweaks to fix all of that inside of this video. Just make sure that you guys go ahead and watch each and every step inside of this video to get the best possible results and boost FPS in Fortnite. So without any further ado guys, let's dive straight into the video. So starting off with the guide, the first thing that we are gonna do is change some of the settings inside of the config file to boost FPS and fix textures not loading issue. So to do that, simply go down to your start menu and search percentage local app data percentage and open it up. Then go to Fortnite game folder, save, config, windows client and right click on game user settings. Go down to properties and make sure that read only is unchecked. Then hit apply and ok and then right click on it again and this time click on edit. Now inside of this config file we are looking for frame rate limit because we are gonna be capping our Fortnite FPS according to our monitor's refresh rate. This is gonna help most of you guys fix texts not loading issue and also provide you guys with smoother gameplay. So once you find the frame rate limit just go ahead and change its value to your refresh rate. For me I'm gonna be using 60 because I'm using a 60Hz monitor. For those people who are using 144Hz monitor just type 144. And if you are using 240Hz monitor, just go ahead and type 240 right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change it to 60. And then scroll down a bit and go to scalability groups. Now change everything here to 0 except for the resolution quality. This is gonna help you guys boost FPS and achieve the maximum frame possible. So just go ahead and do that. And after that, click on file, save and now you can close out of this. So right click on it again and go down to properties. And this time make sure that read only is checked. Then hit apply, hit ok and now you can close out of this. So moving on to the next step, you guys need to download the Fortnite Texture Fix Pack by Regnetic. The link will be in the description so just go ahead and open up that link which will take you to this website right here. Just go ahead and click on the big red download button. If anything else opens up like an ad or something just go ahead and close it and click on the download button again. So once you click on the download button, it will take you to upload hub. Just go ahead and wait for 5 seconds and click on this download now button which will download this pack right here. Now you guys will need WinRAR or 7-zip to extract the pack. So you can use either one of those. Just go ahead and extract it. And once the pack is extracted, open it up. Then go to Fortnite priority folder. Now there are two methods of switching the Fortnite priority. One is the auto method, that is this one and the other is manual method which will require you guys to open up the registry so for the sake of the video we are just gonna go ahead with the automatic method so just go and use the fortnite high priority registry file and merge it and if you guys want to revert the priority settings just go ahead and use the fortnite normal priority so once you have used these just go back and install the quick cpu software we are gonna be using it later so just go ahead and install it now then go to textures fix regedit and now we are gonna be tweaking the registry file to fix the textures not loading issue so once you open up this just simply go ahead and close the pack and then open up regedit r e g e d i t and run it as administrator <coughs> once the registry opens up just go ahead and copy the first line and paste it right here then press enter so once you guys reach here just go ahead and open up the device manager because we are gonna be looking for the hardware id of our graphics card so go down to your start menu and search for device manager open it up and then go to display adopters then go ahead and right click on your graphics card and go down to properties then go to details and under properties look for hardware ids and then remember this first one so for me it's ending with rev underscore a2 so i'm gonna be looking for that inside here 
So for me, the second one right here is ending with REV underscore A2. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then open up the notepad again. So now we are gonna be creating a key with this name. So just go ahead and copy this name and then right click on it, click on new, click on key and then paste that inside here, hit enter and then click on OK. I have already created it, so it's not gonna let me create another one, but for you guys, it will create this key right here. Okay, so once you guys go ahead and create the key, just go ahead and go into the notepad again, and now this time we are gonna be creating a new DWORD key with the name MSI supported. Just copy this name and go to registry again, right click here, click on new, then click on DWORD 32 bit value, and then paste the name right here, then press enter, and now we are gonna be opening it up and then change its value to 1. Then go ahead and hit OK and now you can close out of the registry file and close out of the notepad and also device manager. So now we are done with this step. So once you guys have done that go ahead and open up the pack again and this time open up the ultimate performance and then copy this command. So once you guys copy this command, just go ahead and go down to your start menu and search for power shell. Then go ahead and run it as administrator. And paste the command inside of it. Then press enter and it should say something like ultimate performance. Then you can close out of this and now we are gonna go to start menu again and this time search power options. Then click on edit power plan, go to power options and click on this arrow right here and now you guys should see ultimate performance. Just go ahead and click on change plan settings and for the turn off display just set it to never. Click on save changes and now you can close out of it. So now that we have done everything inside of the pack, it's time to use the quick CPU. If you guys haven't installed it already, just go back inside the pack and install it. Then open it up. Okay, so once the quick CPU program opens up, just go ahead and click on close if it asks for an update or something and go to system power plan, click on ultimate performance and set it to active if it's not already active. So after you guys have done that, go down and slide the core parking index all the way to 100%. Also slide the frequency scaling index to 100% and turbo boost index to 100% as well. So once you guys have done that, go ahead and click on apply, then hit OK and now you can close out of it. Okay, so now moving on to the next step, the thing that you guys need to do is go down to your start menu and search for this PC. Then open it up, then go to the drive where your Fortnite is installed. For most of the people, it will be C program files, but for me, I have changed it to E, Fortnite. So once you are inside of it, go ahead and go to Fortnite game, binaries, win64, and then scroll the, all the way down till you find these four applications with the Fortnite logo on them. So these are the four main files that run in the background while we are playing the game. So we are gonna be optimizing these files to boost FPS and fix the textures not loading issue. So to do that, right click on the first one, go down to properties, then go to compatibility tab and click on disable full screen optimizations. Then click on change high DPI settings and make sure that override high DPI scaling behavior is checked and application is selected then hit ok apply and ok so now we are gonna be repeating that same step for all three of these as well so once you guys have optimized all four of these applications just simply go ahead and close out of it and we are done with this step so moving on to the next step guys, go down to your start menu and click on this gear icon for settings. So once it opens up, just go ahead and click on the update and security. Check for updates and install any of the optional updates as well. Just simply go ahead and update your windows to the latest version. For me, I'm gonna be downloading this one after I record this video. So just go ahead and update your windows as the new versions of windows are proven to give better FPS and also fix most of the bugs inside of the games. So just go ahead and update your windows and after that go back to the settings again and this time click on privacy. Just make sure that everything in the general tab is turned off then scroll down to background apps. 
and make sure that everything is turned off here as well. This will not affect any of the apps listed here, it will just restrict them from running in the background which will lower the CPU usage and also fix the textures loading issue for most of the people. So once you guys have done that, go back again and this time go to gaming. Inside of the game bar, just go ahead and turn it off if you are not using it for recording gameplays which I really don't recommend. I recommend other softwares like Shadowplay or something like that, just go ahead and record with those, don't use the game bar. And then for the game mode, just go ahead and turn it on if you are using any windows version above 1903. And if you are using any windows version below 1903, I recommend turning it off. To check that, go down to your start menu and search for WinWar. Open it up. And here you guys can see that I am using the version 1909. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on. So once you guys have done that, go back again and this time search graphics. And click on graphics settings. Okay, so once you guys are here, click on the classic app. Then click on browse. And we are gonna be searching for Fortnite. So go into Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and click on the first application right here, which has the largest file size. Then click on add, and then click on options and set high performance. Then click on save, and now we can close out of it. So yeah guys, now that we are done with most of the tweaks, some other thing that you guys can go ahead and do is capping your FPS to even lower values. For example, if you guys are getting above 60, cap your FPS to 30 while landing. This will greatly help you guys fix the Texas not loading issue. And once you guys go ahead and land, then you guys can go ahead and set the value to unlimited, 60 or whatever you want. So yeah guys, that will be it from this video. If this video helped you guys in any way, shape or form, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for future content. By the way guys, don't forget to join the Discord server, the link will be in the description. We are creating a gaming community right here and if you guys need help or if you guys just wanna chill out in general, just go ahead and join the Discord server, the link will be in the description. So yeah guys, that's it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.